Hello everybody, Dr. Kushbu again from Siegel Mantras. So today I'm here with you to talk about teaching skip counting to our children. Whenever we are introducing any new concept, we first need to understand the importance of it and also to break it into parts. So like here, if you want to teach skip counting, why do we need to teach, teach skip counting? So one simple reason for that is when we have to introduce uh, multiplication in the later classes and the child is uh, confident with the concept of skipping numbers and skip counting by 2, 3, 2, 5, 10, multiplication comes very easy. Uh, the second use of it which I have seen is in uh, understanding the time, especially the broader minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, sorry. So that. Then second thing which I mentioned is when we are trying to teach any concept to the child, we have to split it. Split it and also see where the child is, what is his current level, currently what he knows and accordingly we set this goal of uh, moving ahead by with teaching the new concept. So if we have to teach skip counting, the child should already already at a level where he knows forward counting a minimum up to 20 and if you want to teach skip counting by 10 then minimum up to 50. So this is how we uh, set the criteria before we take up this goal. Now when you start, first things first, we first need to make it very clear to the child what skip means. So instead of directly introducing this concept with the numbers, what I suggest here is if you are making any obstacle course as an OT exercise or a sensory path, sensory mats you are laying down in, in a sequence, <clears throat> ask the child or rather use the word skip often in your daily routine to uh, make him understand what skip exactly means. So say suppose if you created a sensory path with different textured mats, so you can ask him walk on first, jump on the second, jump on the first, jump on the second, skip the next one and jump directly on fourth. So skip. Now he won't understand what you are trying to, you know, uh, he won't understand your instruction in one go so maybe you have to model it and show but if you do this in various uh, setups like i said uh, in the obstacle course also you can do then uh, you can make that hopscotch grid jump ki jage aap usko bol sakte ho ki skip one block you can make small small blocks don't make very wide ones so there you can ask him skip so that way is Make him understand the concept, the meaning of the word skip first. So skip aana chahi, counting aana chahi, forward counting. Now we can teach him skip counting with the numbers. So how do we start it? Again, first you do it in a very play way. The child shouldn't uh, feel that pressure of learning one more, one new concept, pre-mathematical and mathematical concept. So let's take it ahead in a very play way. So, um, wherever you are staying, in a flat, on a bungalow, or a duplex, or whatever it is, we always have stairs around. So, what you can do is, make it a regular exercise, ask the child to climb up 10 steps every day. And you mark the stairs with the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. And every time when the child is climbing up the stairs, ask him to... Uh, say the number aloud. One, two, three. Then um, next day or next round could be in a way. Climb up the stand on the first step, and then sit sit on the second one. Fifth third pe khade ho, fourth pe betho. Fifth pe khade ho, sixth pe betho. So do it alternate like you are standing then sitting, standing then sitting, standing then sitting. Then third round, give the chalk to the child and tell him first pe khade hai, second pe bet hai or har us step pe jab aap bet ho, you have to mark a circle on the number. And then when he comes down after marking four and five circles on alternate steps, then you tell him you skipped 
वन स्टेप एंड एवरी सेकेंड नंबर लाइक वन स्किप करके टू पे आए फिर एक नंबर स्किप करके नेक्स्ट पे गए सो दिस इज स्किप काउंटिंग बाय टू एंड मेक हिम रीड आउट द नंबर्स टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन लाइक दैट बट आर जॉब डजेंट एंड हियर वी हैव टू डू द सेम थिंग रिपीट द सेम थिंग देन ऑन द नंबर लाइन ऑन अ नंबर बोर्ड नंबर बोर्ड अगेन यू कैन यूज अ बोर्ड लाइक दैट ऑफ अ लूडो बट नॉट लूडो बिकॉज लूडो में क्या होता है द टेंस आर एट ऑल्टरनेट एंड्स लाइक टेन विल बी ऑन द राइट 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 हैंड कॉर्नर एंड ट्वेंटी इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन विल कम ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड देन थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सो द चाइल्ड गेट्स कन्फ्यूज दैट वेज सो वील मूव टू नंबर लाइन नंबर बोर्ड्स यू कैन डू एंड इन दैट ऑल्सो डू इट इन अ वेरी प्ले वे like suppose we are doing skip counting by 2 so every two you have to circle with a marker and then you can advance the level you mark the skip counting by 2 and mama will mark skip counting by 5 so you have to mark different markers in hand so make it more fun colorful and um, interesting for the child to get the concept one more thing which i did was i uh, had laminated a sheet with like i made a number chart with little uh, big squares i cut it after laminating i cut it into small small pieces so like aisa bana so i had laminated uh, number cards i would say so every time you can also do that because once you make these cards for up to 100 it will come handy in uh, many other mathematical operations as well so suppose you are doing skip counting by 5 so what you can do is make the child sit with you and um, uh, give him one sheet or maybe a bowl or a tray or something and tell him to keep first in uh, keep the numbers in a sequence now one Two, three, four. They go in one sequence on the child's tray, and tell him, "Give me the fifth card." Or what you can do is on that tray or whatever th- base you have kept, you can mark four squares or four circles, and tell the child to keep one, two, three, four in those circles. Or fifth wala, apko deta jaye, and that fifth number. Which he's giving you, you start putting it in a sequence. एक line में आप रखते जाओ. So say suppose the child is. This is the. This is on the child's side, and this is your side. This is child and this is mama. So he'll pick out number one. उस circle में रखेगा two, three, four. चारों कांड side में कर देगा fifth. आपको देगा देन ही विल पुट सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन ही गिव इट टू यू सो दिस वे यू गो ऑन राइटिंग फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वॉट यू आर डूइंग इज स्किप काउंटिंग बाय फाइव एंड द चाइल्ड गेट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड आफ्टर एवरी फोर्थ नंबर द फिफ्थ नंबर इज going to mama and this is skip counting by 5 then next what we can do is we can start making giving the child some worksheets so here i have i'm showing you a sample skip counting by 5 so you can write a few numbers and give a few blanks to the child and see if he gets it correctly then you can uh, trace a number line on number line you need to teach first and then you can give it as an exercise so say suppose if you are teaching skip counting by um 5 so we mark 3 4 5 and then up to 10 so you have to tell the child for skip counting by 5 on every fifth number so you hop by you hop five times 1 2 3 4 5 five. every fifth number that you come you mark a circle 
and write that number below. Again hop, the next number would be 10, mark a circle and write below. So number line comes very handy. Number line, the number board, and you can do it with any number. Mostly we do skip counting by two, five or 10. For 10, uh, uh, what I do with the practical scenario, I have that 10 minutes and 10 seconds, the two options in the microwave. So every time if I have to warm something, I intentionally call my child and I ask him to, you know, do it skip counting by five times and um, make some hot coffee, black coffee for mama or warm your milk and do skip counting by three. So he now uh, knows it. Skip counting by three, but 30 seconds ke liye garam karna hai. Skip counting by five. Itne seconds, itne bar usko press karna hai. So try to um, incorporate this, these concepts in the practical real scenarios that makes it a lot of, uh, you know, that makes it very interesting for the child and they love learning new concepts and things like that. So I hope this helps um, your child to learn this concept of skip counting. All the very best. Thank you.